<laughs> All right, so if you're in the market. It's very nice. It's thank you, Dad. Hardly wrinkled. <laughs> we need, like, um, who makes the wrinkle free stuff? The, it doesn't matter if you just leave them sit in the dryer after they're dry, they're all going to wrinkle. Find the best carpets that I got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slash insider ladies and gentlemen because well you know at find the best car price they aggregate all the deals from the various manufacturers to help make it easier for you to well find the best car price when you're thinking about getting a new car so do yourself a favor if you want to find the best car price go to find the best car price dot com slash insider that way Zach and I get paid yeah. um, and 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 we'll love you for it and we'll so will Jeff yeah yeah and yeah. I'll put the proceeds towards the new wardrobe so thank you well you can you can use the old wardrobe just uh, I'm not going just there. fold it out of the dry okay I'm okay just, there's right. a concept <laughs> mom would be very disappointed in me okay title of today's video when yes. we're talking about that is a topic that I'm sure a lot of people are interested in learning more about which is buying a car from Hertz and I yes. want to tackle this from two angles if that's okay. oh my god I, I don't know if I can handle more than one angle at the moment but let's try okay what is an obtuse angle Shit, I don't. What know. is an acute angle? Oh God, you know. Well, when I look at you, it's there, acute. There it is. Yeah. Um, so the two <laughs> angles that I want to hit this from, Dad. One is the wholesale price impact and how we haven't necessarily seen as big of an impact there from Hertz defleeting. Yeah. And then the other is as a as a car buyer, as a car shopper, what yes. I should be privy to and aware of before I just say, oh, Hertz is liquidating their fleet. I'm going to yeah. go get a great deal. Yes. So can we start with the wholesale side and kind of the impact we've seen on prices and, and maybe why it hasn't been as dramatic as maybe someone might think when they read the headline, 182,000 cars are about to be sold. Um, because 182,000 cars at the moment is not a drop in the bucket for what's needed. Um, and, and that's why Avis and, and Hertz and the others that are defleeting to the degree that they are, aren't really having much of an impact on the wholesale value of cars. It's not bringing them down. Um, I know the article that I was reading in Business Insider, they really thought that, you know, that this, this is going to impact wholesale pricing. It is not. There is such a dearth of like, I can't remember the last time I was able to use dearth in a sentence. No, that was but really well done. But there's such a dearth of used vehicles at the moment that that dealerships and uh, and players like CarMax and Carvana and Vroom are just paying through the nose to get inventory so that they can have enough inventory on their lot. And, I, and it sounds counterintuitive to do that, but they can afford to overpay because it, they can make up the money if they can't charge the huge profit that they like to charge. Uh, they, they know they can make up the money in the back end through financing, which is where most of the profit's made in the dealership anyway. So if there's 150,000 or 200,000 used cars that are going to come into the market from Hertz D fleeting, it, it, it's going to be a negligible impact on wholesale prices. I got dearth and negligible into one conversation. Do you want to know what an obtuse angle is? Uh, sure. Greater than 90 degrees. There you have it. Yeah. I'm obtuse. <laughs> <laughs> well, obtuse in that context yes. is like irrelevant. Yeah, well, we're... But you're ignorant. not irrelevant. irrelevant. Um, yeah. And the other thing is, yes. it's not like Hertz and the, and the um, creditors for Hertz, they snap their fingers and 180,000 cars are now being sold. It's yeah. over the period of time between now and the end of the year. Yes. Which means if you were to break it out and that, that, that ruling It's not came a lot of life, cars. And per month. Exactly. Yeah. It, it just really isn't. It's, it's a hell of a headline. Yes. And it's something that we've never really seen before. You know, that headline's not. almost clickbaity. It is pretty clickbaity. Yeah. The bigger story, and we've talked about this before, and then we'll, we'll start talking about as a, as a car buyer what you need to know. The bigger story is the fact that they're not refleeting. And what I mean by that is they're, you know, Hertz. They're not replacing. Yeah. Like, defleeting cars is actually very normal. For, for, they do it uh, every year. Every single year. Yeah. I mean, Hertz and Avis and Budget and, and every single player, they're a primary driver of, of the used car market for inventory because they just they, they roll over their fleet. Yes. They're not buying new cars. Yes. They're, they're, that's, not, they're not replacing. You, they're, that's a whole different story and, and something that's going to be much more compelling, especially from a manufacturing side. Yes. Six months from now, 12 months from now. Yes. But for you as a car buyer, what do you need to know going into well, a, a buy from Hertz? Or how is Hertz well, even liquidating there? Well, well here's, the, here's the where I think the bargains could be. 
Yeah. And I agree with Business Insider in this. And and I think the bargains can be in their premium cars. Okay. Their luxury cars and, and perhaps some of their sportier cars okay. that they'll be defleeting. And the reason I say that is first of all, those cars are so expensive to rent when you go to rent a car. Yeah. And and so they don't get rented as nearly as often as the lower priced cars so they're not driven as much they don't have nearly as many miles on them and obviously the more expensive the car the greater the amount of depreciation there is sure. so if if they're defleeting their luxury vehicles um, those could be particularly good bargains for consumers that are looking for uh, a used BMW or a used Cadillac or whatever the high-line cars are that they're getting rid of. Sure. And they probably will have less miles than a typical Hertz rental car. Definitely. Okay. Now, what you have to be aware of is you, you really have to inspect the car. Okay. You have to find out exactly how much factory warranty is remaining. Yep. Uh, you you want to make sure as best you can, and I don't know that you're always going to get a straight answer, but you, you, you want to make sure as best you can that all the maintenance has been done, that yep. all the service recalls are up to date if there are any, and, and you want to get an independent pre-purchase inspection done by a, uh, a mechanic that you trust. And if you don't have a mechanic that you trust, there's a source that we've recommended for people. Yeah, Lemon Squad. LemonSquad.com. We don't know that. And we don't get we don't invoice them. It's yeah. seriously. I mean, if, if you're it's a national service, they're they're reputable. They're worth looking at. And and they have independent mechanics all over the country yep. that they contract with that yep. can can go and do a pre-purchase inspection for you so that you know what you're looking at okay because you know it's one thing to just look at the outside of the car and go well you know that fender looked like it might have been painted a little bit or there's a ding here or a scratch there it's another thing to get underneath the car to really do a comprehensive mechanical inspection of the car to uh, know what what issues you might be staring at not too far down the road definitely and yeah. it also that it speaks to at least I, I think this point's worth making when an, a budget car, excuse me, a rental car company, I was thinking a budget, yeah. um, defleets vehicles, they have multiple options as to who they sell those cars to, direct to consumer or to auction. Yes. And so when you start to think about, and we've had some commenters who have worked at like a Hertz for some, yes. and you've made this point as well, why would they be choosing some that they're going to sell directly versus others they're going to send to auction? They're probably sending the ones to auction that they don't think they can sell directly that well. Well, they don't want to sell directly that well because they're the ones that aren't as clean, they aren't as nice, they they might not be as accident free. Um, so, and again, that's why a pre-purchase inspection is just so necessary. Because you have to realize, if they're selling them through their own locations, they're going to keep the cream of the crop for themselves. And anything that makes it to the auction is a car that they didn't feel was a car that they should sell. So that speaks volumes. The other thing that you want to remember is that, for instance, Hertz, if you buy through the, their car buying yeah. service, well, they give you a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, warranty. But here's what you have to keep in mind. Hmm. If Hertz doesn't exist any longer, neither does that warranty. That is such a good point. Yeah. So wow. if, if they don't survive bankruptcy, neither does that 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, warranty. So that is another reason why you need to get that pre-purchase inspection done and even though they might give you a warranty you might want to look at, at other extended service contracts that could be available through third-party sources that uh, uh, there's a greater likelihood that they'll be remaining in business than say Hertz would. That's a great point yeah. and also kind of my antennas go off to if we see promotions later on this year of well Hertz is now offering an 18 month warranty or 24 month yeah. warranty. Yeah. Or, or like that one car dealer that offered a forever warranty. Yeah, yeah. oh goodness, that was <laughs> such a great video that we did. <laughs> yeah, you know, that forever is really short if you're not in business to, well, take care of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. One other thing you might want to think about is the equipment on the cars. Oftentimes the rental fleets 
buy cars or order cars with a little less equipment, even on the luxury side, than than uh, what the standard car would normally have. So yeah. just just make sure that even if you're looking at, at one of their premium uh, cars, make sure it's equipped the way you would want it to be equipped as opposed to uh, the way you think it should be equipped. You need to look at the car and make sure it has everything that you thought you should be getting in that car. If it doesn't, then maybe it's not the car for you. Yep. But if it has enough of the standard features, then that could be the way to go. And don't be afraid to ask for the original window sticker if they have a copy of that. They might not, but you mm -hmm. know, it's worth seeing if you can get your hands on that yeah, as well. Absolutely. Um, and 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 other than that, I I, I don't know what more we can suggest to you other than do your due diligence get your pre-purchase inspection done and and do a visual inspection yourself and, and drive the car make sure it's a car that you're comfortable with don't just don't just buy the price buy the car make sure it's the right car how'd i do that was not obtuse <laughs> well sometimes neither am i <laughs> <laughs> thanks dad thank you zach